Yeah, it's not something that ever entered my mind. Never. Never entered my mind that he would not come home from work. And when any big accidents happened on site, they call me in to um, talk to the blokes. Oh mate, it was really good advice, you know. I did three or four sessions and it was good advice. It helped me out. The building industry is characterised by people who are rough, rugged, uh, work long hours and uh, play hard. Work hard and play hard. But the reality is the consequences of our industry are huge relationship breakdown problems, suicide rates well above the national averages, uh, drug and alcohol problems that are well above statistics of any other industry and workplace accidents and fatalities that outstrip everybody else as well. What about here when we're looking at uh, consumption levels, let's say of alcohol, what would you call moderate consumption of alcohol on a daily basis? I think it's about uh, showing them the, the problems that can occur from say drugs and alcohol in the workplace but also showing that the services available through the construction industry um, delivered by construction charitable work. So if they do have troubles in their lives, or their families have troubles um, in their lives, they can also access the services free of charge. I've had people eventually come to me with an alcohol problem, and it's only after you try to deal with the alcohol problem that you realise this is a person whose real problem, the underlying issue, is a trauma that they haven't really got uh, manage to uh, deal with it all well. Safety is a very um, big concern within the construction industry. Unfortunately, we're losing one construction worker a week Australia-wide through accident or illness within the industry. The union and uh, councillors, and they know what they're talking about, so they and they they will um, engage with you if you want them to um, to engage, or leave you alone if they want you to leave you alone. They just touch base every so often. So Construction Charitable Works does a lot of things. It provides counselling to, to help assist people who are struggling in their lives. But it also, more importantly, particularly with young workers, has a huge education program around suicide awareness, drugs and alcohol in the workplace, and relationship issues. In, in a way, that happened to me. I, I was coming to work where I had my, my issues at home through separation and family issues with kids and that and, and a few of my friends noticed I, I wasn't myself. And we're here to help each other out. I've told them that, that I've gone through some issues in my life where the counselling did help me and I've told them that there is help out there. Workmates are the key people in connecting and being understanding. The emergency and crisis accommodation, um, family counselling, uh, it could be grief and loss counselling. There's a whole range of, um, of services that we can provide through, right through to uh, sort of psychological assessments if, if required. Some people come forward and say, listen, I've got a bit of a problem with one of my mates. Can I ask you a few questions about it? But I think that where we pride ourselves is having enough staff on the ground that actually can relay the information to the individual. The Construction Charitable Works has and the services they provide have come out a direct call by the union to address the social problems in our industry. Once we take on a case, we see it through to the very end and we don't give up on anyone.